Welcome back, everybody, to Metroid Zero Mission. In this part, we are merely item hunting. So, if you are not in the caring mood for getting 100% and such, you have my permission to skip this part entirely. But for those of you that want 100%, stick around because I uh, show off getting some items that you can only get after you've got the, uh, the uh, gravity suit, or your fully powered suit, if you will. Watch this edit. Watch this edit coming up. Oh, look at that, I made the guy teleport like a dip eh? Yeah, some of my edits here, kind of a little bit of greed. I, I had to work with what I got. And I, I tried to edit it as well as I could considering the really stupid mistakes I made here at this late playthrough. Basically, I, I had to edit out like four minutes of complete garbage because I went the wrong fucking way. Because I are to expert, lol. Not really. Because I am the expert, but not really. Anyway, we need to power bomb this way. To continue on our quest for 100% items. Because I like doing 100% playthroughs. There's rarely a playthrough where I don't actually go for 100%. There's gonna be a few maybe in the future that will come up. As far as Metroid is concerned, no way, Jose. I'm going for 100%. Even if it means 100% in games like Metroid Other M. Which, if you haven't seen, you should watch that only to see, if only to see Prometheus's complete and utter deterioration. From, this might be okay to, this game is fucking terrible. Of course, it takes about 13 fucking parts for it to happen, but still. Uh, I just got finished uh, recording commentary with him for parts uh, 49 and 50. And we have some interesting discussion in there. Not necessarily about the game, but really, who cares about that shit? We, so we have good discussion on uh, how games like Metroid Other M, Nintendo has to be careful not to fall into the same trap that uh, Sega did after 06. Of course, what we didn't mention in that video was that uh, what's his face, Yuji Naka, had had left the company prior to the release of uh, of Sonic 06. I, I, I think I think I watched a playthrough where it's like it, it's okay if you know you want to go and do your own thing. Just remember that you're absolutely killing a franchise in the process. Sonic the Hedgehog. That was a rough five years, wasn't it? Really didn't get all of that great until colors, and I didn't even have my problems with Sonic colors. Mostly due to the fact that it's fucking short. But Sonic has kind of gone back to the more arcadey kind of feel, if you know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, too fucking bad. Uh, what I'm doing right now, just to get it out of the way, there's two items left in uh, Chokodia. There's a power bomb tank and a super missile tank. Left. And they're both kind of towards the uh, beginning area where, where we first entered here. 
So that's where I'm headed. I could uh, I could have had these be the last two items that I get, but I wanted to get them out of the way now so that when I'm actually going up to the final boss fight, I already have 100% items in tow and I'm not thinking about it. So there's that aspect. One thing we didn't talk about in that little discussion that we probably could have talked about was Capcom's complete abandonment of the uh, of the uh, Mega Man franchise, it seems. But again, that could be because KG and Afune left the company. But really, what did Capcom lose with uh, Inafune leaving the company. A giant diva? Sure. Powerbomb this way. Powerbombs are real useful for seeing... for seeing other breakable blocks and how they need to be broken. Like, on a large scale. So, uh, so if there's, like, a large... Bit of, if there are a bunch of uh, breakable blocks in a room, you can use a power bomb, and some of them will be broken, but others will not, but it will tell you how to break them. Instead of having a just normal bomb everywhere like a tool. Oh, to me, out of here. Power bomb, this. And from here, you come into this room, and you're actually going to be able to uh, access the uh, save room and the map room area that we were at previously. And I have no idea why the hell I went this way. I didn't need to go in here, like, at all. That was kind of my bad. Is that, that's a fall from the block. Ah, shit, I didn't need to be in here. I look at the maps like, yeah, it's over there. Fuck. At least with our uh, fully powered suit, it doesn't even matter if we trip the uh, laser wires. The new wires, we can just still kill them. Now. They don't stand a chance, those space pirates. Right. There we go. Actually, we can just missile this door. Refill all my stuff. It's a good habit to form, I guess. And so there's the map room when you missile out here. For some reason, you actually get the music when you first enter the, uh, or so for when you first enter the, uh, uh, Space Pirate Mothership. This music, I, I shouldn't mention, that music actually plays throughout the whole Metal Gear Samus thing if you manage to not get caught for the entire thing. Or to not be spotted for the entire thing. Now, and I've I've seen perfect stealth runs of that. And that's some some of the stuff you do for a perfect stealth run. Pretty goddamn insane, I gotta say. Okay, so with that power bomb tank pickup, uh, Cho Zodia is now clear. So now we're actually going to uh, head back to Crateria. Doing good on our uh, pickup stuff. I think we have just five missile tanks, one super missile tank, and three power bomb tanks left to pick up. So if my math is correct, that's nine items. The only reason I'm actually showing the, the footage of getting back to the place 
is because if you have, if just in case you happen to not be listening to my commentary, it's watching this for a long time. I feel that uh, jump cuts where I go from one place to a completely different place, especially in a metro game, are kind of inconvenient if you actually want to follow the walkthrough. Of course, I would just say follow a better walkthrough if you're going to follow a video walkthrough. It's... I don't know. Because... Like, I don't even know what I'm saying. What a fucking surprise! Anyway, it's gonna take us a couple minutes to, uh, get to Crateria. I wanna get back to what I was talking about with our, our discussion, which will end up being in Part 49 of Skyward Sword. It really was started by my plan to, uh, my plan to be all like, hey, this is why I hate Other M in like 60 seconds. Basically, I was gonna try and give that somewhere in these final three parts of the post commentary. But then I decided to just scrap the whole idea. Right, back here. It's real windy outside today. I could feel the walls squeaking. It's winds are so strong. You actually, I want to refill my stuff. Even if even if it's just a couple of energy tanks, I want I, as I want that thing full in case stupid shit happens. And stupid shit tends to happen if you're not paying attention. Alright, I just need to go through here. We're basically a few rooms away from the great area. The gateway to great area. Shit, we're back in great area. Okay. We're basically gonna now go for an item that's near where our ship originally was at the start of the game. What this is gonna require us to do is to powerbomb this out. And then start a, a speed boost from about back here, and I magically make the door close. Because of editing magic. You cannot control the editing magic. Only I can control the editing magic. Only the editor can control the editing magic. Store your Shine Spark and uh, Shine Spark as a morph ball from there going up and left. Then power bomb this, and you get yourself another power bomb tank. That is number seven. So just two more to go. And if I remember correctly, we actually get both of the. Uh, both of the remaining power bomb tanks in this part, so. What's gonna end up happening is, uh, I think we have, like, th as I will be getting all of the rest of the items except for three of them in this video, and we'll be getting the remaining three and finishing the game in part nine. So that's how that's gonna go. What I wanna do here is Shine Spark from there. It'd be kind of difficult if you don't know your timing shenanigans and how to work with uh, Shine Spark. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to head back to the destroyed remains of Turian. Yes, you can go back there, and there are actually two items there. So, Super Missile, this is Or. And now, that's looking pretty destroyed, I must say. So you just fall down as much as possible. Go through here. 
first of said items is below where Mother Brain's tank used to be. So the missile this, and there's your power bomb tank. It's our eighth one, so just one more to go. And then you go into the room previous to uh, Mother Brain's room. Where you're going to need to uh, store a shine spark, as you're gonna see. Store it here, go into the next room, jump, and if you're at about this height, you should be fine. Otherwise, you're just gonna fuck everything up. You would prefer it if you don't fuck everything up. And there's your missile tank. So, those are the two items in Turian. That's settled. That's settled. We're gonna try and uh, get back up to that elevator as fast as possible. And the best way to do that is to uh, abuse the hell out of your space jump. Remember when we jump normally from all these fucking tiny ass platforms? What a pain in the ass that was. Up we go, and up we go, and it's up pretty f it's up pretty far, as we found out previously in the, uh, escape sequence. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, there we go. Right, so we're gonna come up onto a spot a little bit beyond here, where if we power bomb a thing, we get a secret way into uh, Brinstar. And now I'm just looking at. Okay, Brinstar is clear. Crate is not. We just have one missile tank left. Norfair has a missile tank and a power bomb tank, and Ridley has three items. Ridley's lair has three items left. So, power bomb this. This will take us to uh, Brinstar. All the way the hell down here. That's, yeah, this is where we started the game. Now, Crade's Lair is not too far. In fact, the elevator for that is right here. And now to go get the remaining item in Crate's Lair. It's through this door here. Just keep going along like this. Here. Okay, what you're supposed to do... I kind of messed it up there. What you're supposed to do... Speed boost, store the shine spark, go into morph ball form, and shine spark and make sure you hold right so that you can keep rolling in speed boost form. And that's how you get that uh, missile tank down there. So, with that done, uh, Crane's Lair is now clear. Keep in mind, you can only do that once you acquired the uh, gravity suit because of. Uh, the gravity suit's ability to uh, move freely in liquid environments. Look at that fucking jump cut, Jesus Christ. Okay, down here... If we continue along this pathway, we're actually going to uh, end up at a shortcut. And y'all love shortcuts, right? Shortcuts are the best thing. I got hit as I was entering the door. See, there's a save room in here, but we screw attack through here. This is actually a shortcut to Norfair. How about that shit? Right, so like, what the fuck is in here? Oh yeah, it's the map room. Like, I need that at this point. Go through the fake lava. And if 
eventually you're gonna end up in a place with real lava. This is where you need your gravity suit. Two missiles down there. You'll be able to go through this here door. And up there is a missile tank, and the way you get it is to bomb that out and try and stay and try and get onto this ledge any way you can and then just upward like that and I kind of fucked that up but whatever just do this and there's your missile tank only two missile tanks left and then we're gonna find ourselves a wall where we need to uh, missile out three blocks. We kind of fuck up missling out the third block. That's a real good sign. Well, once that's done, you can space jump up here. And there's your final power bomb tank. And I check to make sure it's the last one. We're going to status and yep, my max is 18. That's the most you can have. Right. Damn it, I'm missing with these missile shots. That's no good. That's no good! So yeah, with that, Norfair is now clear. So we just have the items in Ridley's lair left to uh, pick up. I reckon we head on over to Ridley's lair. How about that? Go. Going to Ridley's lair means we gotta go through all this garbage. These uh, these last three items in Ridley's lair I could have gotten on the first trip. But one of them I needed the, uh, the wave beam for. At, at, at minimum, the wave beam. And, yeah, I didn't have that, and I was like, fuck. Had I been smart and picked up the wave beam before going to Ridley, I could have actually gotten uh, one, or oh, probably one of the items I'm going to be getting in Ridley. But I'll, I'll talk about that when I get to it. There's, an, there's another one where I skipped it because having the space jump is helpful for it. But can do it without the space jump. Anyway, through here we're gonna fall through this and fall to uh, Ridley's Lair. And next time we get the last items and finish the game. So see you then.